Okay, yeah, you can straight out outrun it. It's not a big deal. Let's see if we can shoot it and kill it. One, two. What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight, and we are back on subsistence finally august 18th ladies and gentlemen a brand new update has come out cold games has done quite a few things to the game and most importantly he's added another beastie that we have to watch out for now i'd like to go over all of this stuff it's been about three months since i've actually been on uh, I've missed a lot of updates unfortunately however I'm not going to deal with those today I'm just going to go with the August 18th update we're going to go over a few of those things and on top of that we're going to go look for the brand new beastie uh, as you guys probably already heard or if you haven't heard the brand new beastie is a cougar or as we like to call it in in Utah a mountain lion uh, yeah very very scary animal and they're supposed to be more powerful and faster than the current animals. I don't know how it could be more powerful than a bear, but they're supposed to be a lot faster at the very least. So let's go ahead and go over some of some of the update stuff. Now one of the things that he said he did is he did an overhaul to the crafting system. I wouldn't call it really an overhaul, but he has added a few different things. So to start off with, he's added a metal ingot into the workbench. Now the metal ingot, really I can only find uh, he says it's to use for end game items, but I've only been able to find one item out of all, all the, the menus um, that it actually goes for, and that's the switch uh, for the floodlights. Other than that, I can't find anything else where it would go, so it's not really that big of a deal, to be completely honest with you. Um, as far as like the amounts of everything uh, that you know their costs uh, to craft them they all pretty much look the same as far as I can see um, however he has added sinew to the game now sinew is actually what you get when you harvest a mountain lion or a cougar uh, but the things that the sinew is now added to are rope and rope is also added to a few of the crafting items in the game uh, grenades personally I think grenades are kind of worthless unless you're looking for a quick entry into the hunters base uh, yeah it's sinews for grenades and it'll also affect in here you also need sinew for rope so it looks like you need about three sinew and then about three cordage as well. Uh, on top of that, it really doesn't affect anything else except for in your clothing line. When you start getting into the more end game heavy duty t-shirts, um, you'll need rope and rope takes sinew. On top of that, you'll need them for the heavy duty pants. Um, uh, looks like you'll need rope again and then sinew for the leather boots as well as the combat helmet and the combat vest so later on you're gonna have to go hunting um, either the the cougars or you uh, I guess he also put them in lock boxes as well so you have a chance to find a lock box with sinew in it as well so you're either have to, gonna have to go get um, sinew from the cougars or or lock boxes uh, as far as like items in the BCU you're looking at rope uh, for the sofa. Uh, you're also looking at, I believe it was solar panels. You're going to look for sinew. Um, you're going to need it for solar panels. The well, solar panels. Uh, the wellhead needs rope, which takes sinew as well. Um, and then animal housing. Now, animal housing is a little bit iffy. He says it's supposed to be for end game when it comes down to the rope and the sinew and stuff. But animal housing. I mean, for the most part, when it comes down to the advanced arrows and stuff like that, yes, that's kind of later game. But when it comes down to animal housing for like getting the poop and as for, and using using it as fertilizer from the animals, uh, that's kind of mid game, I think, in my opinion. But you are going to need it for the animal housing, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. But the cool thing is, is he's done it. He's added it very lightly. He sprinkled it here and there. Um, like the mass fab, the recycler, the fridge and stuff like that. They don't need any sinew or anything. The only thing different up here is pretty much the uh, the floodlights and then the switch is also going to need metal ingot. Now I made a metal ingot and I was kind of curious. I was thinking at first that what he did was he made it so we could condense all of um, 
our copper as well as our iron into one like metal fragment and then we could come into here and we could uncondense it you know what I'm saying so we could kind of keep it at more storage but as you can see you can't do that so I guess it's just basically another crafting item which is on here uh, as far as rope uh, you're looking at rope in the cr regular crafting area and I think that's pretty much it as far as this update is concerned when it comes down to the new items added um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, he added a few glitch fix, um, you know, losing your body when you're in shallow water. Uh, also, he's added, now this is something that I think is cool. Other people may not like this at all. When it comes down to harvesting wood, uh, harvesting wood, we used to have to pick up the logs. Now, you don't have to pick up the logs. You automatically get the logs picked up for you. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who probably aren't happy about this. There's a lot of people who are out there who are happy about it. But the fact of the matter is, is it makes it a little bit faster at this point to to harvest wood instead of, you know, having to pick it up. You can go out. I'm stuck. You can go out. Oh, come on. What the heck? You can go out during the night. I cannot get through this door. Now I'm on top of the door. What is what is going on? Why can't I get out of the door? Hello? Let me out. Let me out. What the hell? This is so odd. I don't under... Okay, I'm going to go over the top. <laughs> um, as I was saying, you know, if you're harvesting out during the night, you don't have to have the glow stick or anything. It automatically picks it up as long as you can see the shadow of the tree and everything else. But as you can see, I'm not actually picking anything up. I'm not pressing the F button. So my F button isn't being ruined. Now, a lot of people are probably saying to themselves, man, this kind of sucks because it makes it too easy. However, Cold Games did balance it out a little bit to where it now takes to make uh, wooden planks. It now takes three logs instead of two so yes it is faster but at the same time uh he's also made it so it's not super fast and it does take one more extra log to make the planks now in the end it does make the 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 overall harvesting of wood faster but here's the thing for some people it's fine it's not a big deal you know whichever way if you have a problem with it you can just go into your menu go into options go under um, gameplay and you can take off auto log pickups so you have to pick them up yourself now for me I'm going to leave it on mainly because I'm colorblind these the logs a lot of when you're colorblind like I am the different sh shades and shadows of colors uh, basically make it hard to sometimes see things um, also when you know you've got logs that fall inside trunks of trees and you can't pick them up and stuff like that before I was a little bit upset because you, it was kind of a 90% return rate when it came down to your logs but for me now I guess you could say it's a hundred percent return rate now for me basically because I don't have to worry about you know uh, me being colorblind and me having a hard time seeing them. Um, and there's been times when I've walked away from, you know, places where I know that there's logs sitting on, there's logs sitting on the ground somewhere. And I've just had to walk away because I either can't pick it up or I can't see it. He's also tightened the, the spread as he calls it. The, uh, I guess the, the spread when it comes down to the shotgun so in medium range it's probably pretty dang good at short range it's really good but at long range it's probably not going to be as effective anymore uh which is fine you know that's a shotgun's a shotgun that's fine um but what i figured we'd go ahead and do is the main thing i wanted to kind of concentrate when it came down to this uh to this episode is basically this 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 new cougar because cougars are scary you guys they're supposed to be in this game faster in real life they're super fast they sit on top of rocks they're ambush predators um, they jump off of rocks or out of trees and they, they 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 ambush their prey and they're terrifyingly fast and terrifyingly strong so I mean I guess he kind of split it you know he made them faster than the wolves um, he made them I think they're probably gonna be more rare than the wolves they're supposed to be up in the mountains only and uh, he made them probably slightly less as pow less powerful than the bears 
Uh, so the bears kind of got the, the king of the hill on that. But the rest of it, they're pretty much... Uh, I've got freaking bears and wolves around. i got to go around. Um, whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're terrifying in real life. And if he modeled these after real life... Um, uh, 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 mountain lions or cougars then I'm nervous I am seriously nervous and this game hasn't made me nervous in a long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up by their snow cabin I'm going to see if I can find us a cougar I'm being chased by a wolf right now but that's okay we can outrun him and we will be right back see you guys in a minute okay guys welcome back we are up in the mountains the cabin the snow cabin as you can see is right up there I got my shotgun out I'm a little bit nervous like I said, if he's modeled these things after regular uh, cougars, then I'm looking at all of the rocks. I'm wondering, oh, are they going to be jumping off rocks? Or is it going to be ambushing me? I, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know how, how high in the mountains I actually need to go to get these things to actually spawn or if they're already pre-spawned or what's going on. Um, I'm hoping that they're not one of the ambush predators 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 um that actually jump off rocks and stuff because that's a little bit uh that's a little bit overpowered there's a wolf right there but i don't i'm not seeing any any cougars i i figured they'd probably be more up in the rocks and up in the up in the the trees up here on the side of the mountain but i'm not really seeing anything up here uh, i've been walking around for a little bit and i don't know the bait what what cold game said is he put him in so did i just hear something i swear i just heard something he put the there's one right there ladies and gentlemen we found a cougar and i can hear him growling Oh, wow, it's a deep rumbling sound. Now, here's the question. One, do I want to try running from it and seeing how fast it is, if it can catch us? Or two, just shooting it with a shotgun <laughs> and then maybe hoping to find another cougar later and trying the running tactic. Um, this is crazy, you guys. I can hear it rumbling. It's so... Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to try the running thing first. We want to see how fast it is. Ouch. Okay, um, it looks like you can still outrun it. He's not, he's not hitting me. Okay, yeah, you can straight out outrun it. It's not a big deal. Let's see if we can shoot it and kill it. One, two, three shots with the shotgun. Now, I'm not sure if I actually you know did it straight to the face or what but this okay he did a really good job oh look at that the graphics the the textures wow and the rumbling of it chasing you is absolutely terrifying you guys okay so let's go ahead and harvest this bad boy and see hey we got a broken leg too he must have broke oh wow whoa 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 Look at all that sinew. Okay, so you get quite a bit of sinew, quite a bit of sinew, more than likely because um, they're fairly, from what I can see, they're fairly rare. I've been up here for a little while looking around trying to find one, and that was the first one I found, and I've been all the way over there. Well, not all the way over there, but quite a ways over there, and I haven't found anything. Um until I came over to this side in these mountains. So I'm wondering if they're just hanging out in these mountains and just chilling out. Uh, I'd like to see if I can find another one. So I'm going to be right back, guys. I want to find another one and see if we can we can go at it head to head. And this time I'm just going to stand my ground and go head to head and see if it also takes another three shotgun um, shells. Because, I mean, three, it most of the time, unless you've got a grizzly, it only takes two for a, like... A grizzly, two to three for a grizzly. A black bear is usually one or two. So three for a mountain lion is pretty impressive. Uh, so I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, I think there's a cougar in the area because I can hear the rumbling of his growl. That's the crazy thing about these cougars is you can hear them before you actually see them. If you've got a lot of foliage and stuff that's in your way, you can actually hear the rumbling. 
See, there he is right there. Okay, so before I did the shotgun, I wanted to try the shotgun again, but this time I want to actually use the rifle to give you guys a little bit better of, of an idea. This is a level one, and hopefully we can get this work in here and do a pretty good two, three, four, five. Okay, so five shots with a level one uh, cougar. That is not bad. That is not bad. I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. Let's see how much. Because I think what, what, what Cold Game said is depending on the level of the cougar, that's how much sinew you're going to get. This is a level one. I still got, before I got six this time, one, two, three, four, five, we got five. So that's actually not bad. And you also get cloth with them. It looks like you get a good chunk of cloth and everything else. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, it... it when it comes down to like how many shots it takes, that's about average, I would say, uh, you know, versus a wolf versus a bear. They're kind of in between. Uh, they're not super hard to kill unless you're probably, you know, shooting with a bow and arrow or something like that. But right now, as of right now, they're not really too bad. They're not super abundant up here. Um, you know, I've only found two and I've, I've scavenged the area pretty, pretty well. Uh, on the side of this mountain I've only really found two of them I'm thinking at one time in certain areas in certain zones there's probably only maybe one or two that, that, that show up but for the most part they're I don't think they're very common um, and I guess that's pretty cool I mean they're more cold games kind of hinted that they are definitely more end game material because I mean you really a lot of the stuff that you use the sinew for you really isn't end game uh for hardcore they're going to be immediately added to the game uh you don't have to build a bcu or anything there you're gonna they're gonna be in the game right from the start but when it comes down to um normal and easy uh it's it's it wait i don't know about easy i think easy there's probably not even going to be any in there uh, i'm not for sure but the fact is uh, with normal, you're looking at building a BCU and probably having to wait a couple of days before they start spawning is what my assumption is. But as of right now, you know, they're not really too bad. If you've got the weaponry, great. They'd probably give you a hard time when it came down to, you know, uh, if you didn't have the weaponry, definitely. You know, they're they're pretty quick. You can outrun them, it seems. Um, we were able to outrun the one that we ran from. So it, it's cool. I mean, it's new content. Um, they're fun to kill uh, if you've got the weaponry, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, that's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down to the cabin. Um, I'm going to just kind of decide what to go to where to go from here on this episode. Uh, I really didn't have anything specific other than going after the cougars. Uh, like I said, they're they're fairly rare, so I don't really don't want to spend a lot of time uh, trying to find a whole bunch of them. I've already found two, and we've gotten to experience them a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to go down and figure out what the hell I'm going to do next, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. Now, within the last few months. Cold Games put out a few updates where I believe he's redone the pathing again for all the animals. Now, the last time he did this, it pretty much ruined the kill shack when it comes down to bears. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to see if he's done any more pathing again and what effect that has on the kill shack. Because if it doesn't work anymore then I'm not going to be using it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to try it out on a bear. So we need to go ahead and get a bear to come over and say hello to us. And I want to see if it still works. Now I know this is a little bit overpowered when it comes down to saving your ammo and, and making it so, you know, you don't have to spend it to, Whoa. Okay. So it looks like, okay. So he, they still do walk away, but if you like go back and forth, then they'll turn around, I think. Yeah, see? And as long as you can hit them still. Okay, so the new path... Whoops, I hit the wall. The new pathing that he's done has actually made it so you can do the bears now with the kill shack. Where you couldn't before. As long as I can get this... It looks like it takes a little bit longer. You may end up having to... Um, you know, to to repair your wall a little bit more because you're accidentally hitting it. 
how much have I hit? Uh, it's down to 373. Yeah, so one little hit. It looks like they pretty much stick around the corners. So it looks like that the kill shack still works pretty well for the bear. Well, it worked, and now it didn't. And then it didn't work when he did the redid the pathing. And now it looks like it works again. So that's. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. Now, the question is wolves. Is it going to work on wolves? And this is one of the big things that I really wanted to try out because when it comes down to hardcore, you know, one of the things that I like to try to do is actually make a kill shack when I played. And if I couldn't, you know, if I could make a kill shack, then that would pretty much make hardcore a lot easier. So let's try a wolf and see. So I know that they probably still run away when I touch the, the, the foundation, but I, whoa, oh, he's, he's able, oh, he's getting in, he's getting in, okay, he's in, okay, that's not good, oh, but he's trapped, wait a minute, he's trapped, so the wolves are able to get into the kill shacks now, it looks like, and I wonder if you just get close enough, ouch, oh yeah, they can definitely get you now, oh, holy crap, Holy crap. Okay, so the kill shacks no longer longer really work for the wolves. Uh that's unfortunate, but it's it's okay because for most wolves it only takes one shot with a shotgun. Uh it's not really too difficult to kill them, but when it comes down to bears, that's a lot harder. Uh so it looks like the kill shacks work for the bears as long as you can keep you know, your kill shack, this one's pretty beat up. As long as you can keep it repaired and you get inside and you get him in a corner or something and you just move back and forth. Uh, so that looks like that works pretty well still, I guess. Um, which is good because, like I said, the, the bears take a lot more ammo and uh, the, the wolves, you know, they take a little bit less ammo. So it's just, I don't know. I mean, the kill shack still kind of work. I would still build one for a bear, but it's up to you guys. Um... So yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything on the update. Uh, he's fixed a lot of glitches and stuff like that when it comes down to dying and in water and all this other stuff. I think uh, on another episode, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about, you know, some of the older updates. I'm going to kind of work on it and discover it a little bit. I just wanted to jump in and I wanted to go after the cougars and we did that. We got a bunch of sinew from the cougars and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, 11 sinew. So uh, we did pretty good today. Uh, if you like the video, show your support and hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do. Thanks for coming out today, guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be back on the on, on subsistence and I missed this game quite a bit. And uh, keep gaming. Keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.